Okay, so I may have went a little overboard this last week. Yes. You read that correctly. This is indeed another art supply haul. <laughs> it is rare that I get to go and see... One second. Yes, you read that correctly. This is indeed another art supply haul. Sadly. <laughs> My poor wallet. Um, but yeah, it's rare that I get to go to such big art stores, especially such big AC Moors and such big Hobby Lobbies, and have them so close and everything. So I did get quite a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff, I think, though. So first off, I kind of already have opened these, but I did get some friction highlighters. Um, I find these really cool. And this is just such a beautiful pastel set. I will be doing a swap test at the very end. Get that away. So I got these three colors. I got this light purple. This really pretty... Mm, aqua kind of color. And then this pastel yellow. I think they're all very pretty colors. And I hope get to use them quite a lot. Um, next up, I want to talk about my Spectrum Lords. Um, I bought these first. Just a heads up, I'm putting that out there before we go further in this video. Um, I do enjoy using these markers and I thought, hey, greens, it's always something I need. Yeah? Thanks. Never a bad thing to have. Pinks work very well in skin, greens very well in nature and everything, you know? Trees, bushes, plants, mostly, mostly green, grass. So, greens and pinks. Um, picked up these two sets. Um, I already have three sets of Spectrum Norris now. Jeez. <laughs> but yes, I will open these up, do swatches later. Got a lot of swatches today, guys. Okay, next I'm going to show you the cutest thing I have ever found. Itty bitty erasers! They're so cute! See if I can actually find a normal sized eraser nearby. Oh, I can't! Here's the normal sized one. And here's the teeny one. Oh! See, I, ha I I never am able to use these full erasers, but these teeny ones are awesome. They are so small. I can keep them places. I don't have to have a big honking eraser all the time. I can just, little, little mistakes. It's more accurate, I'm going to say. You can get into smaller areas with smaller erasers, and they're just so cute. How could you resist something like this, guys? So cute. <laughs> Anyways, next up I got gritty paper with these blue lines that when you scan them in, they disappear. So yes, very, very nice. I thought maybe this could be very nice to do sketches of buildings and stuff like Holly Brown does in her videos a lot and just practice with perspective and everything. And this will help you. Grid papers are very helpful with getting perspective right because there's you've got all the boxes and everything. You can also do boxes through many programs. I know the program I'm using right now, Fire Apaca, does have a way that you can draw lines and put lines on your paper to, to let you know where everything is. So you you can use that to help you with perspective. Perspective is a very difficult thing for many people, most people. Um, and having a few handy guides around never hurt anyone. Up next, I want to talk about pens that I got this past week. Um, now, some of them aren't going to be as exciting because but, you know, here we go. 
I opened the right side. You should be proud of me, guys. Anyways, I got the new Sharpie pens. These guys are very weird. Every time I bought them, this is my third time buying them now, they've come and they've looked different. Here is one of the past ones, and the first set of these looked exactly the same, except every one had a black cap. And then they changed over to the same barrel color caps, and now they've changed the whole barrel, so they look extremely different than the first time that I got these guys, so... I don't even know. I don't know what to think anymore. I love these pens. I'm just a little bit too hard on them. <laughs> I, I, I bash the, the nib in every time, so I've had to rebuy them a couple of times, and sadly, they are a bit expensive. <sighs> Took me a while to actually pick a new set, and this set looked really nice, and they actually feel very nice. If you pick up these pens, they look professional, and they actually feel very professional. Next, I got jelly rolls. I'm going to be doing swatches of these two, just so you know. I got jelly roll moonlights, and they're kind of less jelly than other jelly rolls. They're more painty, and it's really cool. They end up actually with a very smooth covering. Once they dry, they stay wet for a while, but then they dry off. And it really has a very opaque layering. And I've loved these so far. Um, I just, I, I love pens. I use them for bullet journaling and everything. Um, I will be making, just so you guys all know, an art supply Sunday for these beautiful pens and the future. Uh, I'll be doing just a, a couple of different ones. I'll be doing one on our favorite gel pens. And whatever kind of pens these are. I think they're water-based pens. Uh, I'll, I'll get the specific name when I do the video. Brush pens. Um, ballpoint pens. You know, you name it. All of them. I'll do them. But yes. Last but not least... Here is the box for it. I got a new marker stand because I was looking for another one, the one I currently have, and I was not able to find it. But I found one that holds more, so I got one and <laughs> two. Here's where most of my money went this week. <laughs> it all went into these. <laughs> I have an obsession, so I've, I've threw my art store adventures this week, I have found out since Ace and Moore does not sell brush markers, they don't have them on sale. But any sale store that you go to that has brush markers or pro markers, they are on sale. I bought some pro markers too because why not? They're pretty. And I actually did realize last week when I, I accidentally bought pro marker, when I used it, I was like, I really like this. So I decided to get more. This is kind of a mix. Um, I'm not going to go through all the colors now. I'm just going to mention right now, I failed. These are both chestnut. <laughs> so I'll, I'll keep them both. I decided I'm not going to return it. I'll just keep it. Um, I marked my markers so I know which ones I've used and which ones are are fresh. <laughs> so I don't, I don't continuously use both of them at the same time. I like having it so I'm only using one at a time. So I don't end up with two dead markers and a replacement. So yeah, um, I got two stadium marker stands. I'm actually going to be organizing these. I might do a little video of me doing that. Um, I think that could be fun to watch. Um, I think from what I've seen with brush markers, they make a beautiful rainbow when you put them all next to each other. I mean, you got some gross, I got a lot of gross colors this time. Like this. Ooh. Pure green. That's a gross color. No, you're actually a nice color. I think this is a grass. Yeah. I got a new grass, by the way, guys. Um, marsh green. That's a really gross color. I got a lot of gross colors, but I was like, I, I want them. Moss. Gross. <laughs> I just got colors I didn't have, and that would, um, fill out my collection a bit more. But yeah. Anyways, now that we're done with everything, I hope these guys hold up well. So far, I'd say if you need a marker holder like this, like 
this is a good investment. They're $5 each. They're at Michael's. But yeah. But also, if you like storing your markers on the side, you can also do so with these guys, like this. I'm assuming. I mean, they look like they'll hold pretty well if you put them on their side. I mean, this is the suggested way that you are supposed to store your markers. So, yes. And what I was going to say earlier that I kind of cut myself off on is if you go anywhere that sells these brown markers, I think they're doing some sort of repackaging with these guys. I think they're doing the packaging a little bit different. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't notice that those designs were different, but all the single pro markers are on sale. And the packaging for new brush markers and new pro markers is a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure if the barrels look any different, but anyways, all pro markers and brush markers, no matter where you go, they're on clearance. At Hobby Lobby, I noticed they're 124 and at Michael's, um, all the Windsor & Newton markers are $2, and that does include Pigma markers if you are interested in looking into those. Um, actually, I think they're not called Pigma. Pigment markers, sorry. And I can actually bring those out in a future video when I talk about my markers. And yeah, anyways, let's get to swatching.
okay, okay. We are done with all of everything. So I ended up actually forgetting that I actually bought a couple of pens at um, a drugstore the other day. Um, I've got this cool pastel. It was supposed to be a striped pen. It's in this cheap packaging here. It's called Blot. They're called striped pastels. So far, if you saw, I've, I was writing with it. It's not very stripey yet, but I'm excited to see kind of what will happen with this pen. Or, I guess, these pens. They're all the same. And I also got a set of more gel, gel pens, because I'm crazy. And they're neon, of course. You can never have enough pens. I swear to God. <laughs> um, the friction highlighters are actually working very nice. They look very pretty. This actually turned out mm, less pastel than I really wanted, but these two colors are very pretty. I like them quite a lot. This turned out more highlighter yellow, much like these neon colors here. These are the jelly rolls, and these are just the gel pens here. If you can see, there's a bit of a difference. Ooh. That's probably not really helping, is it? <laughs> Okay, maybe, um, yeah. These guys right here are a little bit smoother than these, but, yeah. Uh, it's easier to show on a grander scale, and this is every single one of the markers I got this time. I, I must say, I went a little overboard. I am going to definitely chill on markers next time I go out. <laughs> I swear, guys. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like down below. Leave a little comment on what you want to see me do. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.